Living in a moment right now that is larger than life, as you can imagine, you could call it monumental. Absolutely. Victoria Woodle visited with a world-renowned local artist in Montgomery County whose creations mark monumental moments in history. One of the wonderful things about this job is it's very tedious working sometimes and it's hard work, and especially if it's large, but um, I get to meet people like Mike Schmidt, great at what they do. Zenos Frudakis is known as the Monument Man. This is going to be 10 feet. And for the last 50 years, in his 250-year-old barn with 100-year-old clay, he sculpted heads. This one I like, of Amelia Earhart. Heroes and the Hall of Famers you've seen standing at Citizens Bank Park, like his bronze Mike Schmidt, Steve Carlton, Richie Ashburn, and his black and white Robin Roberts. I told him instead of patina in it, patina means the colors, I wanted it to be black and white because it's a reference to his time. It's kind of a visual biography. You're trying to give someone the sense of, they're not gonna to get to meet Mike Schmidt personally. What's it feel like to, to be next to him? He can go inning after inning with stories about sculpting these Philadelphia greats. Uh, Robin Roberts posed downstairs, as did Mike Schmidt. And Robin Roberts was, I think, 80-something years old, and he got down in a pitcher's pose. And, and I asked him about the home run that Joe DiMaggio hit off of him, because I had sculpted Joe DiMaggio as well. He said to me, why do people always mention the home run he hit? They don't mention all the times they struck him out. <laughs> so that was great. But I wanted to know, how would he mold this moment, what could be called a Cinderella story for the Phillies? What's the big idea? Their unity as a team. The way you see them go back to the dugout and how they hug each other and they're breathing each other's uh, successes. So I would probably make an almost a, a puzzle that's, that could start small, gets larger, and each one of the puzzle pieces would have one of the players that without that player, it might not have happened. So what will happen next? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll just have to wait and see. Victoria Woodle, CBS3 Eyewitness News.